question is, did anybody in the South do anything with anybody in the North? The North has dominated the Pac-12 championship game. Oregon and Oregon State sit on top right now. Oregon's only loss at overtime loss against Stanford. They've got Colorado, a hapless Colorado team. Oh, yeah. You know, the good news for Ralphie is at least Ralphie, she won't have to watch the game. I mean, 15 points a game against Oregon, no problem for the Ducks today, right? Uh, no problem. I mean, you look at uh, a and seven points, Minnesota zero, Arizona 13, three versus Cal. They they can't score at all. So I, they need Mel Tucker. Can they get, can they yeah. get Mel? <laughs> they get I, Mel back. I think for Oregon, as Lee Corso says, it's against perfection. But the one thing that Joe Moorhead has to be happy with is last year in a shortened season, Oregon had a problem with turnovers. They had 16 turnovers in seven games. This year, it's been much, much better. They're taking care of the football. That'll continue, but it's today. Don't worry. Faceless opponent. You don't even get Nameless caught up. Faceless. Yeah. yeah. You got Oregon State and Cal, too. Oregon State just keeps being productive. The good win against Utah. But, you know, you've got the college football playoff rankings coming out on Tuesday night. Oregon has head-to-head -head against Ohio State, but a lot of close games. Should they be ahead of them, Bear? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I was going to spur that on you. I think right now they probably should be. I mean, you have, maybe down the road, <laughs> the, the, the wins that Ohio State could accumulate will... Are, are they... Still, the, the, yeah, yeah, yes, they're still bullying me. That's uh, well, all you, are talking about, know, you are talking about Ohio State. State. Ohio State. It may be your opinion, yeah, Ohio no, State, but, 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 I, but I think you... you Penn State's for two lost team now. They're no longer undefeated. Yep. The, the, the Michigan win, the Michigan State win potentially could be uh, the things that I have. But right now, they beat them on the field. So I, I think Tuesday night, Oregon will be ahead. See, I, I think, see, we'll see how, what happens this weekend. Yeah. I, I think that's more of a long-term right. play. Exactly. See, I think Ohio State, because of how dominant they've been with that offense, could be ahead. But I think at the end of the year, if Ohio State sits out there with one loss and Oregon sits out there with one loss as a Pac-12 champ, I think then that could be Oregon's trump okay, card. You guys will probably be do the show, right? Card. You guys will be yeah. doing the show. Who do you yeah, think yeah. should be ahead come Tuesday, Ohio State or Oregon? From what I've seen, I think Ohio State's proven that they're a better team right now. I, it, okay. So I go back to head-to-head. But, head. but at the end of the year... Boom. Yeah. I'm just Oregon. talking about Tuesday. You yeah, know, Tuesday. Yeah, football left to be played. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, it, that's been tough for me this early in the year to move Ohio State ahead. And There's playing, not a right but, answer. But it, I know there are a lot of people who have a big gap between the two. I don't see that at all. Here are the remaining undefeated teams in college football, including former Michigan head coach Brady Hoke, who has the Aztecs of San Diego State. There's Brady getting ready to take on Fresno State. How about this? change last week the option attack of air force this week fresno state and they're playing for the old oil can that's the thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus